Good evening. So, I've done a lot of things on the van, and to be honest, I've not been asked to record anything because, um, well, I've just been cracking on. I've not been socialising, I've not been doing any of the things that I normally do. Uh, I've been enjoying Christmas. I've been, I hope your Christmas was good, by the way. Um, so, I have been doing bits of the van, as I've just said. Uh, not recording it so I'm going to show you some of the things that I've done it's gonna be dark in here because that's how I like it but I hope you can see some of the things that I've done now first of all this little bit down the side of the bed here has been a gap for a while um, that goes all the way to the floor and the diesel heater is down there now I've boxed it all in with some spare cladding that I had it's only thin but it's fine Ugh. But it means now that this is going to be turned into a storage box thing. I may, I may put a lid on it there and can open it up and there's a bit of storage down there, which is quite valuable storage, actually. Um, so, then the next thing's... Eee, by gum. The TV has moved. The TV now has its own shelf with the Bluetooth speaker on. Um, and then... The big thing that I've done is the shelf unit here. I made this last night out in the Peak District, out in Castleton. So at the bottom uh, is storage down there where Baby's high chair, well not high chair, his bouncy chair thing is, and his like jungle gym type thing all slot in there. Also my camera lights and stuff go in there. Shoes don't actually belong there, I just put shoes there for now. Next shelf up, so far, Ant World. Um, and some other bits and bobs. I don't have a definite plan for that area yet. Next shelf up is bookshelf. I got some more books for Christmas, so needed some more storage. And then the top shelf, I haven't got a clue what's going to happen with the top shelf. But I've got lots of things, so everything will find a place. But I am. Look at the mess. Currently, this is my situation. I have got to tidy up before I go to bed tonight. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to try and show you. So this is what it all looks like. The TV tilts and stuff and moves a bit more towards uh, the bed. I may get a bracket that brings it out so I can tilt it properly. But right now I am happy with the shelf underneath it. Uh, I've moved all my power down to this end as well. So the power inverter is down there. Uh, the power runs under here and all the plug sockets are here which is why my drill is on charge it's actually a lot better to have the power available down this end as well so again didn't plan that but that's a good little modification now got the wires that run through there down there i'll tidy those wires up got wires that run up there up there to alice's playstation which is hiding here in the bookshelf again bluetooth speaker works with the tv and it sounds pretty damn good in the back um i've got a lot of wood to get rid of got a lot of tools and shit to get rid of and i'm actually really hungry and thirsty so i've got to try and sort some of this out sharpish <laughs> So I've had a bit of a, a day at this, 
So I'm going to show you around. As you've just seen, I've been building this storage at the side of the bed. I've now carpeted it all. Um, so this is where now things that would go outside the bed go. Baby wipes. I've got a baby now. That's what the four uh, nappies and shit. Uh, my nightwear, hot water bottles, stuff like that. And then this one is spare coats because I've got loads of coats and jumpers that I don't even use anymore or use rarely. I know where to put them. Uh, obviously, if you've seen the shelf, um, it's still a bit wet. Uh, but TV and Bluetooth speaker, PlayStation controller, but I'll probably go there. Temporary place for battery drill charger thing. Uh, and then under there is where um, the cables go. So I can charge all my shit. It's easy to access. It, it was down the other side temporarily, but it was under the bed next to the diesel heater, and it was hard to get to, so... It's just in a better place now. Also, the other thing is that Princess now goes under there. Let me just show you with... Right, in your bed. Bed. So Princess's bed is now under the bed. Um, weirdly, she kept going under the bed anyway, even when her her bed was not under the bed. So I just figured that I would give her um, some shelter under the bed. So that's where her bed is now. Ugh! That was the big improvement, because now I've got more floor space, even though I've just put that there. Her bed and bowl was taking a lot of room, so now it's not doing that. Some other jobs I've got to do is, I'm going to put a door on this thing here, just to make it look a bit better, and obviously hide the toilet. Um, and then, yeah, I just put some, maybe some things across there, so I can put stuff on the shelf that won't, won't fall off. A bit like that one, but further down on that one. Maybe on that one. The ant farm is going to get used. I'm going to go buy some more ants and... Um, Ant farm is going to be a thing. Uh, maybe that's what's going to go up the top here. Still got like, I mean, I've got stuff I want to do. It's not necessarily stuff I need to do. I've just saved a bit of cladding. I've just given away all the spare wood that I had so they can burn it uh, where I am parked currently. Uh, I'm not joining in that uh, festivity. Uh, but <laughs> keeping myself to myself hiding out the way uh, but I've given all my spare wood apart from the bit, some bits of cladding which I need to finish off the back doors a little bit uh, I'm still trying desperately to uh, save the money to put windows in the back but it's just an impossibility right now um, I don't know what's happening with lockdown and shit it doesn't look good does it for any of us um, we're now between Christmas and New Year and it looks like we're heading towards some more lockdownage so yeah every every penny counts right now keep my head down keep living as cheap as possible <laughs> so I just did another cheeky little modification that I've talked about uh, in another video and I've been putting it off because I didn't want to commit to it but now I've committed to it let's go have a look so the skylight I have now stained it the same as the ceiling. Now, I know that wood staining plastic isn't ideal, but I've not done it to give it a proper finish. I've done it to give it a streaky finish so that it looks like the wood grain. And honestly, it pretty much does look like the wood grain. Can you even see that? Can you see it? Looks like the wood grain, look. Look at that, looks like a wood grain. Anyway, it just knocks that edge off the big white thing. Not saying that these are bad in any way, they are absolutely brilliant. But in my van, when it's got such a dark ceiling, I'm not sure if having that big white thing there was was um, was very good. Also, another thing that I did is, I don't know if you remember, but the gap across the top here, light was coming through. So what I did was put some of the uh, four-way stretch carpet in the top so now the light's not coming through the top it's coming through where it should come through it looks so much better i mean obviously it's white inside but when you put like that across or something it looks a bit 
better. The main thing is that I've toned it down a little bit and it matches the ceiling uh, and I'm happy with it. Anyway, I love you all. Happy New Year and all that shit. I hope that 2021 is better. But it's probably not going to be. So, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs>